morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Monday. It is nine o'clock right now and I'm here by myself. The kids are already at school and Ariel already left. He doesn't work until I think 11 or something, but he went to go help his friend move. So he already left and I am about to make some coffee and oh my gosh, I just saw on Instagram that Disney released the new Starbucks Been There series mugs and oh my gosh, they're all so cute. I want them all. I seriously want them all because I really love the Been There series. I like the Been There series more than the, um, what is this one? I forgot what it's even called, uh, than the You Are Here series. So this is the You Are Here and then... And then these are the Been There series mugs. I like these ones more. I think they're super cute. They're way cuter. So now I want them all, but I don't know how I'm going to get them. Hopefully they sell them online. Um, sometimes they do sell them online. Or else I'm just going to have to get them when I go there next year. I'm so sad. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to make my coffee. And actually, let's go ahead and just use this. Disneyland Starbucks mug so that's what it looks like and now I'm thinking like where the heck am I gonna put these mugs if I get them I don't know you guys it's a problem it's 12 o'clock I am about to have my lunch I'm just having a super simple lunch today I have two hard-boiled eggs three pieces of bacon some Colby Jack cheese and then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to my eggs this is the one that I use, the Himalayan pink salt, and then just regular black pepper. And then I might have a few uh, almonds, but I'm gonna eat this first and see if, like, see if I still want it or not. But this is gonna be my lunch for today. All right, Vanessa is getting ready for spring training for Color Guard. I'm gonna drop her off at the high school. It's gonna be like training and then auditions, right? Or no? I guess eventually. Auditions are not yet, right? Just yeah. Okay, so it's just training. Come on, Ness, let's go. Okay. Vanessa is back from her color guard spring training, and they gave her a tall flag. They took her shorter flag and gave her a taller one, the official, official flag. So how was the training? Good. It was good. Look how tall the flag is compared to her. So she has to go to training, I think it's twi twice a week, right? Yeah. For how many weeks? Mm. A month or something? Probably. And then at the end there's going to be a show. Mm -hmm. And who's teaching you? Is, um, is it the high school students? Yeah, the, no, the high school... Oh, the, the teacher? teacher oh, the teacher. Kids. Wow, the teacher from the high school. Wow, that's legit. Alright, so she's going to eat dinner now because she hasn't had dinner yet. Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. I almost said Monday, but no. Happy Tuesday. It is... Well... It's still technically morning, but it's 11.59 right now, and I'm about to make my lunch, but before I make my lunch, I wanted to do a weigh-in for you guys. I didn't do a weigh-in on Friday because I wanted to do it on Monday, which was yesterday, but then I didn't get a chance to do it. So today, I'm going to do a weigh-in for you guys. So I am at 204.0. So I think at my last weigh-in, I was also 204. I think that was like the Monday after I had my cheat day, but... I did weigh myself the next day and I kept gaining weight like I went up to like 206 I think and I think that's just pretty much my body trying to hold on to these carbs that I was eating and you know holding on to a lot of water so it basically took me like a week and a half to recover from that also on Saturday we went to Top Golf and I did eat a piece of bread <laughs> and I did drink some alcohol so I think my body was still just recovering from that day and then also from the cheat day because I did have a lot of carbs that day. So basically it took me a week and a half. Well, actually I still didn't lose all the weight that I gained, but it basically, basically took me a week and a half just to even lose a few pounds because I was just gaining and then I finally started to lose. So we're back on track. No more cheat days for a while because I really want to get under 200. Um... So yeah, back on track and no more cheat days for a while at least. So for lunch today, I made a lettuce wrapped sandwich. You guys can see it in there. I, ha I haven't had um, a sandwich in a while 
because I was eating them so much I kind of got tired of them but then today I was like that sounds good so I made one and it has ham salami pepperoni uh, avocado oil mayo and some mustard I just finished my lunch it was very yummy and I was just thinking it's already April you guys it's April 2nd Vanessa's birthday is this month her birthday is on April 20th and she's going to New York and Washington DC next weekend not this weekend but next weekend I think she leaves I don't actually I don't actually know exactly when she's leaving. I'm so bad with dates, but I have it written in my planner. I think she might be leaving either like Friday night or Saturday night or maybe even Thursday night. I'm not sure, but I know she's leaving next week. And then she'll be gone until April 18th. So that's Thursday, that's 2 days before her birthday party or before her birthday. And she does want to have a birthday party. We're not going to have it at the jumper place anymore or at the trampoline park anymore. We're just going to have a small party here at the house with some of her friends. And I'll just get them some pizza and they can just hang out and stuff like that. So yeah, she's leaving for she's leaving for next week. What the? She's leaving next week for New York and Washington DC in case you didn't know. She's going with her school. It's a field trip and she's very excited. I'm also very excited for her. She's going to learn so many things and... They're going to visit so many places. They're even going to a Broadway show and they're going to be watching Dear Evan Hansen and she's very, very excited. So um, next week we have to start packing for her and I don't think she needs a large suitcase like AJ's suitcase because she's small and her clothes are very small. So I think it'll fit in a medium sized suitcase. Actually, I even think it'll fit in a carry on luggage, which I was thinking of doing because the airlines is going to charge $30 for her bag. So I was thinking she could just do a carry on. But then also I was like, well, she probably won't be strong enough to carry it and put it up in the overhead. And I know someone could help her, but I just don't want her to have a hard time, especially going through like TSA and stuff. You know, she'll have to put everything on the conveyor belt and it, it's just too much work for her. So I'd rather just pay the $30 and then she'll just have a much easier time. But I think that I don't think she needs like the very, very large suitcase. I think just the medium suitcase will do. So I'm very excited, you guys. Very, very excited for her. And then I think that's actually their spring break. So AJ will be home with me because he also because he has spring break the same week. So Vanessa is basically losing a spring break, but she gets a trip. AJ's was supposed to be during spring break, but they, you know, because of the festival timing, you know, it happened in March. So he basically kind of gets like two spring breaks because he was off for Hawaii and then he's off next week for spring break. So kind of lucky, huh? So anyways, I think that's it. I just wanted to catch you guys up on what was happening. Oh, also on Thursday, no. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, there's going to be a meeting at Vanessa's school uh, about the field trip. It's going to be like the parent meeting, so I do have to go to that. And then she has to go to spring training again on Thursday. It's going to be every Monday and Thursday for color guard, for high school color guard. And I think she has to audition. So at the end of the spring training, there's going to be auditions to see if she can get into the color guard team. Hopefully she can get in. I hope they just accept everybody. I don't really know how it works, but crossing my fingers that she gets into color guard because that would be like super, super good for her. I wanna show you guys this super cute Easter wreath that I made. If you guys remember, I had said that I went to the Dollar Tree. It's cause I was buying all of the supplies for this super cute wreath. And I did film the video of how I made it. And it's also going to be a collab with my sister. So I don't know when it's gonna go up, hopefully sometime this week, but I'll let you guys know. And I hope you guys will watch it. Also, I keep forgetting to tell you guys that all of AJ's Hawaii vlogs are now on their channel, which is AJ and Vanessa. If you just go YouTube, just search AJ and Vanessa, you'll find their channel. Or you can just click on the link, which is in the description box. Their channel is always linked there. So head over to their channel and check out their, not their, check out his Hawaii vlogs. It is five videos. There's day one, two, three, four, and then five and six are combined. So make sure you guys check out his videos and leave him a nice comment. Hello everyone, it is 10 o'clock. It's time to go to sleep and it's time to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.